Hey YouTube, I'm here with another C-Sharp tutorial after a long hiatus. Uh, I have been working on my website very vigorously, so I've, you know, I, I've, I've had a lot of stuff on my plate lately, so I just couldn't not work on a C-Sharp tutorial. And it's just taken so long, but I know a lot of you have been requesting it, and now it's finally here. Another C-Sharp tutorial. I'm also tossing around the idea of redoing my first eight tutorials in HD, like I'm doing this one now. And I'm going to go into more depth, because I understand C-Sharp a little bit more than I did back whenever I first started making these tutorials. I understand programming overall as well. I'm uh, very adept to... Uh, or adept to uh, object-oriented programming now, um, and I wasn't before, so maybe things will be a lot better now. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going into a concept most people don't actually uh, know in object-oriented programming. Most people kind of just know this by heart because they've tested it, but they, they don't know the actual logic behind it. They don't know the programming um, terms behind it. So I'm, I'm going to kind of touch base on this now. A lot of people have been wondering and asking me, what does this private and public mean? Well, these are actually access modifiers. And I'm going to go over what those are in this tutorial, and I'm also going to talk about what static, a little bit about what static means. Static is also a modifier. It's not an access modifier, but it is a modifier nonetheless. And let's get right into it. I made this example program in order to uh, talk about what access modifiers are and what modifiers are and this program basically whenever you click on this button it's supposed to pop up an age and whenever you click on this other button it's supposed to pop up a name now let me show you the code behind this uh, whenever you click the first button it says I am and then input age years old now it takes the age field of a static class called info and it is supposed to tell you that. Now this has no errors, obviously, it's completely fine. However, when we go down here and look at info.name, another field from the static class of info, uh, we get an error and it says it is inaccessible due to its protection level. Now if we go over here into the info class, we notice that the age uh, field is a static integer and it's public and we were able to access that no problem no errors however this private integer or a private st uh, string over here uh, name which is uh, set as Chris it is not accessible over in form one class it's not accessible it's giving us an error now that's because it's private in a, in a private member of a class this is a member by the way in a private member of a class it can only be accessed within that class so if we were to create a method within this uh, class, uh, such as public static get name, that has to be a string, by the way, because we are actually going to be returning a string, obviously. And if we were if we were to create this method, then what we could do was, uh, since this one is public, we can use it outside of this class, and we can actually pass through the name see the name can be uh, the name member can be accessed within this class info however this uh, get name method can be accessed outside of this class and the return value does not count as name so it can be returned uh, regardless of that name itself can only be accessed within the class so if we go over here to form1.cs if we go over to our uh, form1 class then we can change this to get name and boom we lose our error and now this uh, retrieves the right variable the name and uh, it should whenever we run our program it should say my name is Chris right here like it does so as you can see uh, that's one thing that programmers use a lot they like to uh, make it so certain very uh, certain members can only be accessed out or inside or outside of the class um, if, if it's free access it can be accessed both inside the class and, and outside which is public access private access is only within the class and that's for things like passwords um, and like uh, numbers that need to be decrypted and encrypted 
Um, for, for an example of what this might be use, useful for is say they're making a database of names and whenever it retrieves a name it needs to anonymize the name so uh, instead of retrieving both the first name and the last name make it retrieve just the first name in this case we have Chris and I'm not gonna uh, do anything special for this one I'm just gonna use my Chris example and let's just add on a random last name uh, for instance Bardillo so now instead of retrieving just Chris it'll retrieve Chris Bardillo see my name is Chris Bardillo so uh, that's just that's just one thing that they could do it's just an, an example um, in a lot of cases you'll find that you don't want people to have uh, you know basic access to a variable outside of the class it, it's just something that you might uh, run into that you'll need so public and private access modifiers are very essential to object-oriented programming and I hope you've learned something uh, oh yeah static let me explain what static does let me touch on that a bit okay basically static is a modifier in its own right and basically what it does is it makes it so <coughs> excuse me it makes it so say we have a, uh, a static class right here basically what that does is it makes it so you can only you can you can't make instances of this class you can't make a new info instance so if I were to click this button I couldn't do something like um, info new info is equal to new info I can't make an instance of that class if, if you've watched my previous tutorials you will have learned what an instance is it's basically a thing that lets you like say you have a guy class you can create multiple instances say the first instance is a guy named Bob the second one is a guy named Phil third is the guy, a guy named Chris just for examples and uh, if it is a static class then you cannot create new instance of it, instances of it however if we remove the static and we can create new instances this is where static comes in for the members see members of that class uh, what static means for that is if we did create a new instance so let me put back what I had a second ago um, info new info is equal to oh, whoops is equal to new info if we did have that, see now that's not giving us an error because it's not static and it can't and we can have new instances. What you can't do is you can't use static members. You can't say um, a new integer named res is equal to um, new info new info dot um, age. You can't do that see it'll throw you an error it'll say it cannot be accessed with an instance reference um, blah, blah, blah. well that's a weird error but I know what it means it basically means you you can't access this since it, it is a static uh, it is a static member so with oh yeah you can't access it uh, with an instance reference this is a, this is an instance new info and since this is a static member you cannot access it through a new instance you can access it through the the class itself like info dot age you can access that but you cannot access it through new info which is an instance of that class it is static it 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 does not allow instances. All right, so I hope you can understand that. Uh, if you want more in detail, I would go um, just Google uh, C sharp instances, uh, C sharp um, access modifiers, C sharp static, anything like that, and you can you can find a little more detail on it. I'm just making this video for a basic rundown of it. Uh, it's very hard to get my point across in videos. I don't know if people <laughs> understand that, but uh, sometimes I'm I'm criticized on that, and you know. I try my best, it's just difficult to get stuff across in videos. Um, if you ever make a video of your own, you'll understand. Alright, so I, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something from it. Um, if you have any questions, comment below and I will answer them as briefly as possible and as quickly as possible. So uh, stay tuned for my new videos and I'll catch you later.